So welcome to another lockdown lesson. One of the most common themes amongst all the COVID-19 deaths is the fact that in the overwhelming majority of cases, there have been serious underlying health issues. So whether the statistics come from China, Italy, Spain, the UK, or any other part of the world, the, the same fact holds true. And unlike many serious respiratory related infections of the past, SARS Corona 2 is primarily a threat to the very weak in society. It has been widely reported that many younger people who are infected don't even realize that they have the disease because they haven't developed any symptoms. News of elderly people having recovered have become somewhat attention grabbing simply because they are few and far between. Few in that extreme age bracket expect to recover. However, some stories have emerged. In Italy, reports suggest that a 95 year old grandmother has become the oldest woman to recover from coronavirus, at least in Europe. Alma Clara Corsini was admitted to hospital in Pavulo in March the 5th, and tests showed that she was COVID-19 positive, but less than three weeks later, she made a full recovery. However, in China, even older patients have recovered. At least two people over 100 years old have fully recovered in as little as six days. So even in the frailty of old age and with some underlying health issues, even the weak can recover. And news like this amid all the despairing headlines of numbers of deaths and infected patients ought to bring at least a ray of hope and comfort. And thankfully, recovery from sin is not dependent on the strength of the sinner. Because the Bible tells us that we are without strength. The Bible says that when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. One of the wonderful stories in the Old Testament records how the Israelites during one of their episodes of complaining and murmuring, were afflicted by God in the wilderness between leaving Egypt and entering into the promised land of Canaan. God sent venomous snakes among them. But in his mercy, God also provided a cure. Moses was instructed to make a snake out of brass to attach it to a pole and erect this in the middle of the camp. Anybody who was bitten, who suddenly became weak and powerless, would be healed if they simply looked in faith to that snake. Not that the piece of brass had any curative properties in itself, but it was the means that God had established and appointed. Therefore, to use God's appointed means to look in the direction that God wanted people to look in would result in a cure. And that simple act of looking, of trusting by looking, was enough to cure the sufferer. In the New Testament, the Lord Jesus Christ, speaking to Nicodemus, likened himself to that brazen snake. He too is God's appointed cure, the only appointed cure by God from sin and all of its consequences. And therefore, trust in Jesus Christ is sufficient to effect the cure for our souls. During his lifetime, a great deal of people came to the Lord Jesus Christ and looked to him for help. And they found it. One case in particular displayed great weakness. One woman who tragically had been suffering from a hemorrhage for 12 long years, obviously resulting in tremendous physical weakness, came to the Lord Jesus Christ as something of a, a last resort. She'd been to many doctors, all to no avail. Emotionally weak, physically weak, she did all that she could. She came behind Christ and all that she did was to touch the hem of his garment. It wasn't a strong touch, it wasn't a firm grasp. She came in her weakness, but she laid hold on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus stands ready to help sinners today. The invitation in the gospel 
is summed up in the words of a hymn. Come ye sinners, poor and needy, weak and wounded, sick and sore. Jesus, ready, stands to heal you. He is willing. Doubt no more. It might be that you sense your weakness and think that there's no help for you. But it isn't a question of how strong your faith is. Rather, it's all about who your faith is focused upon. The woman that we spoke of, her faith wasn't displayed in any dramatic way. Her faith didn't lead her to do something great, to show or demonstrate how strong she was. She didn't have any strength. Her faith simply led her to do nothing more elaborate than to quietly and gently touch the hem of Christ's garment. Yet such faith, with all of its limitations, was enough. It was enough because it was directed towards the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why the Lord Jesus said to her daughter, Be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. It doesn't matter what age you are, young or old, you can be delivered from the affliction of sin by looking in faith to Jesus Christ, trusting that he is good enough, trusting that he has done enough, in that he has died for sins and that he is risen again. However weak your faith may be, it is always enough when it rests firmly in the Lord Jesus Christ.